As a long-term Windows user, my departure to Mac OS is huge. I recently got the new iMac from Apple. This is the mid-tier iMac with the M1 processor with the 8-core GPU and the 8-core CPU and 8 gigabytes of RAM. But the important question here is, what about Windows? That's something that I've been wondering for quite some time and it turns out it's very easy to get Windows running on your M1 device via Parallels. You just need to head over to the Parallels website, which I'll leave as a link down in the description. And from there on, you'll also need the right Windows 10 operating system image. And for that, there will be a second link down in the description directly to that web page. Just make sure you're logged into your Microsoft account and you're part of the Windows Insider program because only that way you'll be able to access that link. You'll come to a point where it asks you which system image you want to download and install and here you can either tell it to automatically find it on your Mac or you can choose it manually. I just chose to automatically find it and then hitting continue starts the major installation process which should take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. And if all goes well, you should be staring at the Windows 10 home screen, definitely something that Mac OS users don't wanna see in their wildest nightmares. Just one more thing that Parallels may ask you to do, which is to create an account on Parallels and that way they can keep track of your usage because this is a 14 day free trial. So you'll need to buy the full experience if you wanna use it beyond that time period. But there it is, this is Windows 10 on an M1 iMac 2021. So far, I've browsed the web on Windows, watched a few YouTube videos, and I'm also in the process of downloading some games, you know, to truly test out the 16 core M1 processor. It's also nice being able to jump between Mac OS and Windows so seamlessly, and it does open up a few use cases that I'm willing to explore in the next couple of days. I'm gonna be making tons of videos like this on the new iMac as well as different software experiences for those people who are on Windows and are looking to switch to M1 because that's exactly who I am and this is something that might help you guys out in the long run. So if you are interested, make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions of what I should explore, definitely leave them down in the comments. This was Vabhav, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!